Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to learn another exciting transaction that will make your life easy in terms of finances and financial impacts and analysis for your respective cost centers or your production lines or your warehouses etc. That transaction, that magical transaction is KSB1. So KSB1 transaction is used for actual financial analysis of the different cost centers. It helps us to have a complete visibility of all types of operational expenses or manufacturing overheads expenses for the particular cost centers that have been incurred in a particular period of time. To further explain it, we will start by writing the main transaction in our transaction code that is KSB1 we will press enter and you will see this window will appear in front of you so this is not a very large selection options but it's very much enough for us to have a complete visibility of the data so we will start by discussing each item one by one first of all the main thing is controlling area for which controlling area or which country or plant you are going to execute this transaction other one is the cost center if we have a particular cost center or a range of cost centers we can just write the cost centers here the next one is cost center group if we have a particular group of group number or group name of the cost center we will write here then the cost element and cost element group so if we have any one of these we will get the desired results the next is the posting data for how much period of time you are going to get the data of the costs of the actual costs that are incurred against these cost centers next is the layout you can have any layout which are available in your system other one is the document number if you have some document numbers available then you can get the desired results as well the posting row co sub key value transaction value in object currency total quantity etc if you have any one of these you can easily go and you can uh, get your desired data accordingly so here you can see i have let me repeat it again for your convenience for the controlling area for example i don't know what is my controlling area i will just press and uh, click i will click on that uh, mirror lens and now it will show me what controlling areas are available so i can select any of these as per my uh, recommendation or requirement so i have selected 3000 uh, which is the correct one in my case the next is the cost center for example i want to get the details of the cost and the analysis of the costs against one particular cost center but again i don't know what is the name of that or that cost center but i actually know the name of that location so what i will do i will go to the multiple selection to search that item i will write 3000 controlling area that I already know and my company code is 3001 so when I have done that these that per list of cost centers have appeared in front of me and, and then I have to select the relevant cost center as by my per my actual need so I will start putting filter in such a way that my this is cost enter area is 3000 co country code is 3001 and then per for person responsible these are the different type of departments i have to select production in these so i will go down and down and down there's the finance external affairs sales and uh, transportation marketing and now you know you can see production has come so in production i have to further go to line six the PET KHS line 6 so I will scroll down now carefully for my desired data or, and now you can see here here this one which L06 PET KHS this is my required cost center that I want to analyze so I will just uh, select it I will go here for it 
to get it copied I will press execute button and you will see this cost center will appear if I already know the number of that cost center I will just paste it here to get my desired data and for the posting date for example I want to get for the month of December 2021 so I will uh, write the start date at 1st December and the end date at 1st January 2022 so that I can cover the complete month. I will press execute button and you will see that a complete data will appear in front of you. So this is the complete raw data that is available in front of me that has for each line item you can see I have the complete details of the cost till very end. So you can see here there are some uh, the currency is US dollars okay and uh, the cost element the first of all then the object name that I know L06 the cost element description the cost center that is fixed for my in my case this is the my cost center name of offsetting account for which account this cost is being charged then the name what is the actual thing that was incurred in it offsetting account uh, document number for which that posting is being done and value in object currency that is the actual currency and the value of in re representative currency that is dollars and this is the current uh, 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 currency of that uh, country so there is option of material code as well so if I want to analyze it based upon uh, my um, uh, requirement so I will just you know I will select that cost element description thing and I will try to press subtotal so that it can so that it can give me the complete visibility of my data so I will go down I will uh, get it collapsed and uh, I will see what it has done so you can see that uh, it has given me all the detail that I want so these are the categories in which the cost is charged in electricity employee benefits gasoline generator expense gifts health insurance maintenance services product and etc so if I open any one of these here like this like this so the detail against this one will appear in very front and you can see for this case this 59,000 cost is charged, is incurred. For the social activities, you can see 59,000 PKR and 339 dollars are charged. Similarly, I can go back and I can uh, reselect any one of these to get the data uh, as, by my, as per my ease. So I will go back here and I will uh, try to recollapse it as per my own requirement and you know in this case it will be very easy for you uh, to get it charged or to get it analyzed so I will go forward and I will see what is missing in the data so nothing I can again uh, go to the at cost center terms and I can you know select this one this item as well so you you can see this is very easy for us to have a complete visibility so this this is the CO object name I will try to apply my filter here in this way because these are the main heads in which I want to analyze my data so I will come down here and I will press collapse spectrum so you can see these are the main six to seven heads in which this cost is charged this is the miscellaneous then this is the depreciation charge cost for the equipment other is the employment cost other is the then its energy then it was other production then it was repair and maintenance and then its supplies used so these are the main say, six to seven heads in which the complete cost of that cost center is charged I can open any one of these to check what is the total spend in that particular month for this item so for supplies used tab you can see here the <coughs> cost charged is 153 dollars so for this is the charge cost that is charged against this head similarly if I go to uh, energy here I have selected this one I can see that for energy 24,000 dollars are charged against energy 
and this is the detail of each of these single transactions so I, I can open this document number as well by double clicking it and it will further give me the details that how this cost is charged and what is the actual cost and all that uh, and it is showing us the ledger settlements so you can see this transaction KSB01 these are this is very useful transaction to have a complete visibility of the cost that is being charged for one cost center or, or the range of cost centers uh, for a particular period or the period of time so i hope this will this video will be very helpful for all of you in your daily business routines and your professional life for any question you can just write in the comments and uh, please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel thank you until next time bye bye